Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is actually Thursday. I haven't vlogged in a little bit, sorry. But I've been I've been a little a little busy. Um so on the weekend on Saturday, I ended up getting a migraine after stream. Basically, I had a headache the whole day and then and then it turned into a migraine so I was pretty much out for the rest of the day but you know that wasn't the most fun but then Sunday I did some fun stuff and kind of re not redid but like I updated some of my some of my setup so I'm going to show you that here in just a minute here you can see a preview of some fun art stuff I will get to those in just a moment but the thing that I updated was I added this monitor riser to my desk i still need to fix like under there because when i was moving stuff it kind of got messed up but that is what i added i'm really liking it i can actually put my keyboard underneath under there so that's really nice my stream deck and everything like everything fits very nicely and then like this is still kind of a mess i still need to work on the cable management but you know it's it's okay but anyway going to this piece right here this is a very special piece that i had commissioned from atomic kawaii i will put her twitch twitch link down below so you guys can check her out she's an amazing artist and friend of mine so she made this i commissioned this from her um, for my five year stream anniversary, so I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna have some sp special um, merch made and it will only be available during the month of July. So, if you guys are interested in getting anything of this design, definitely save up and it will be available in July. And then over here, this is a preview of what I'm working on for Patreon. I am a little bit late with uh, getting the, I'm, I'm a little bit late getting this done, but you know, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm happy with it so far. And my challenge to myself was basically to, you know, add the hands and do a full body piece this time. So I'm really happy with how it's turning out. There are some like color swatches and obviously like the eyes are colored in, but still have a lot of work to do. So that's kind of what I'm doing, but anyway, yeah, so I've got, I've still got my two monitors and my switch controller right there, or one of them right there. And then, uh, yeah, the, the desk riser, it's, it's not desk riser, the, uh, monitor riser. It's really nice. And then camera up there, little Groot, and that is just, it's still a mess. But anyway, I'm going to show you one other thing and then we are going to... I don't know probably wrap things up for the day because i am tired because again today also ended up getting a migraine not fun don't recommend all right so i'm going to show you the other thing that i updated all right one sec so this is the other thing that i um changed in my room is i basically have this set up right here I know that looks funny with like the little lamp and the hats, but those are two of my favorite hats. The lamp is not plugged in, but I didn't want to move it. And then I relocated some of the Funko Pops. This I have actually had over here for a very long time, but I didn't really show it because this area was a mess until now. But basically what I did was I ordered some of these um, paper organizer things. And here I have some different sticker papers, cardstock, uh, more cardstock, like giant pieces of cardstock that are like different patterns and stuff. I have, oh, some vinyl for my Cricut, which my Cricut is like kind of over there. And then I've got some photo printer paper. And then we have some, these are two different papers that I'm experimenting with for like prints got some books here because I didn't have space in other places and then I have some like decorative paper that I can write like notes on for you know stuff and then I have a CD so hold on that's just there for now but here's the uh, decorative paper this was given to me and I'm gonna have fun writing little notes to you guys when I send you stuff in the mail so yeah 
that's what I have over here but overall I am very very happy with this whole area and then over here you're probably like why why did you do this well the reason is because it's always lit up and I cover like all the indicator lights in my room pretty much except for like this little tiny power button but anyway I covered it with cardstock and decorated it with some washi tape so yeah that's what I did so this is the stuff that I updated in my setup I like it I'm happy with it and I moved my moved the stickers and stuff over here so yeah there's still some more work to be done because other areas are a mess but I'm happy look at the look at the Namwa Namwa okay anyway I will see you guys tomorrow and tomorrow's Pokemon snap I can't wait I'll definitely be including some footage of that tomorrow because I am super excited. I can't wait for it. Anyway, I'm gonna go get ready for bed by like my paper organizers and my monitorizer. I just wanted to show you. All right, BRB. Hey guys, it is Friday. I just finished up stream. I got to play some Pokemon Snap. It was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it so far. And I, let's see, got two of the areas unlocked. So that was pretty exciting. So I, I'm pretty sure I still have like a lot more to do in the game, but I'm really enjoying it. And I'm just so happy to have another Pokemon Snap game. I'm so excited. At some point, I do want to get um, my N64 out of my closet and play the original one again, in addition to a whole bunch of other N64 games. But there are a lot of things that will probably keep me busy this weekend. But, you know, I will be able to play Pokemon Snap again on Monday. So that's exciting. By the way, the diamond painting streams will be coming back. I know that was supposed to be like during, you know, a while ago, it was supposed to be like a one month thing, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to continue that until I actually finish the diamond painting. And then, you know, whenever I feel like doing another one, I will do that. But yeah, diamond painting streams will come back in the near future. Probably not um, this next Monday, but maybe the Monday after is kind of what I'm thinking. So I think that'll be kind of nice. But as I said, there are a lot of things to do this weekend. And then hopefully starting next week, schedule wise, um, my stream and, and any like work related stuff is more like normal and not like as crammed. Like I got kind of behind on um, Patreon art. So that is a little bit behind. So I do apologize for that for anybody that is going to be waiting a little extra for the um, April designs. I feel bad, but I'm going to get it done as quickly as possible, but I still have, you know, it look good and I still want it to be like, you know, as good a quality as I can make it, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, let's see, I am going to wrap things up for tonight and I will be featuring the um, any like additional people that donated to St. Jude. Um, I will be featuring them in the gratitude book so I need to write those all out <laughs> and then I will show you guys everybody that donated. But we ended up raising around I think $1,200 so that was really exciting. Thank you guys so much for contributing. I'm just so happy that we get to do this every year. It's just been a really amazing thing. So it's very special to my, my me and my family and I just I just, I feel like this is the right thing to do. Like, I look forward to this event every single year, and I'm looking forward to doing even, like, more stuff next year. I did feel really bad that I had to take a couple weeks off of stream because I was, like, right in the middle of the event. But, you know, I had to do what I needed to do to take care of myself. But, you know, it just wasn't the best timing, unfortunately. But you know, everything worked out. We still 
raised a good amount of money and I'm just, I'm very pr proud of the community and just everything that we've done. We've done a lot of good and we're gonna continue to do a lot of good in the future. So thank you guys and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll be showing you all of the names for everybody that donated throughout the entire campaign. All right, here we So this is everybody that donated to the St. Jude Play Live campaign this year. Thank you guys so much for everything that you did. We ended up uh, ending the stream at $1,200 and then when I was writing names and stuff, I saw that there was an anonymous donation for $300. So we ended up raising $1,500 for this year. So thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. All right, I just wanted to quickly show you guys everybody that donated and then I'm gonna show you some clips and that will be it for this week's vlog. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys had a good week. Bye. All right, we have our very thin and unique looking camera. What do you think? I mean, thin, lightweight, that's good. Yeah, you know, not gonna lie, like holding a camera, like now that I've, I have like experience with vlogging and stuff like that, like holding the camera, it gets heavy. Even with small cameras, it gets heavy. <gasps> Oh, that's a